welcome to A Better Place. Our topic for today will be family and toddlers. Stay tuned, we will be right back. The same nail color day after day. Not me. New Revlon Top Speed Nail Enamel. Cool color with a built-in top coat that sets in just 60 seconds. With Revlon, you can change your mind again and again and again. New Revlon Top Speed Nail Enamel. Are you ready to jump? Yeah! I've got the very pretty insurances parachute. Is that a good quality parachute? I don't know, but all the things they told me about it sounded very pretty. Well, okay then, let's do this. Gotcha! Hey, I've got you, man. Relax, I've got you. I gotta get myself one of those Henderson Insurance's parachutes. The right coverage when you need it. Are you looking for that prescription that the doctor just gave to you and you can't find it at no other pharmacy? Well, the Orange Grove Pharmacy is where you should be. The Orange Grove Pharmacy, we carry a wide range of American and European prescriptions and drugstore items. We also do personal care products. We offer friendly services and 24 hours emergency delivery. Charges may apply. We're open Monday to Friday, 8 a.m. to 6.30 p.m., Saturdays, 9 to 1 p.m. Orange Grove Pharmacy, supporting a healthy lifestyle. Thank you for having us here. Okay, well, um, as we mentioned in the opening of our program, our topic today is family and toddlers. And we do know that you are parents of two beautiful little girls. And that is why I wanted to have you on the program to share with us, you know, what your experiences are thus far being parents of toddlers and also how you've been experiencing having that extended family now. Well, what can we say? <laughs> From being um, newlyweds, a year after our first daughter came, and we had one year spending alone time, and after that, it never came back again. <laughs> okay, good. Before you continue, mm -hmm. because that is something that I want to talk about, mm -hmm. you know, was, was having a family always in the planning, because some people get married and then they wait a while, or some actually don't want to have kids. So, were you always wanting, did you always want to have kids? Well, we knew from the get-go that we wanted to have children. Uh, we were strong believers, we are strong believers about marriage before having children. So we were married in October and by December we were expecting. So it was something that we planned and we planned for December so that the nine months would take me into the last month of having the last month off in July. So everything was planned with our first one. Well, you know, I'm, I'm glad to hear that because um, that is another aspect of this program. You know, actually, um, we started off the first program talking about planning a pregnancy and how important it is because I believe when you do plan, everything doesn't work out the way you plan, but at least you have a head start. So I'm glad to know that you planned. Um, what's her name? The first, your first daughter? My first, our first born, I have to keep saying, our, our first born is Adaya. Okay. And our second born is Ayana. Adaya means God's precious gift, and Ayana means eternal blossom. Nice names. <laughs> and um, like we had in our previous program, we also asked our, our cup the guests, you know, why they chose the name they chose. And it was ironic because the name they chose was um, a combined name, mm -hmm. and yet they, there was a meaning to it. Because when they looked it up, it was a name also given. Mm -hmm and it was a meaning so um i'm glad to know that you're one of those persons who also chooses your name you know that has a specific meaning so sion tell us um do you also hold those same values of being married before getting children sure well i was brought up in the church and uh, my parents always 
especially from a teenage stage, you know. My mother would always tell me, hey, you're getting big now, you know. If you're gonna get any girl pregnant out there, you know, make sure that you get married to them first, make sure it's the person that you wanna spend the rest of your life with. So, you know, um, during teenage days, uh, to, let's say about the your late 20s, you have a lot of time, you know, to do a lot of things. <laughs> and uh, I can safely tell you that uh, I was very careful, I followed the word, and uh, I, keep, I keep the promise to her that I would never get a girl or uh, any other woman pregnant uh, before getting married to them. So. Okay, well that, that's, that's great to know. So um, Rita, you said that it was three months after you were married that you uh, conceived. conceived. So um, it was all planned, you said, because you knew that it would go into vacation and you would have that longer break. So how, did, how was your experience? Did you have a great first pregnancy or did you have complications during your pregnancy? Um, what is funny about, I have to say, our pregnancy in this instance, <laughs> because whenever I'm pregnant, he experiences the symptoms. Really? I go through nine months, no, nothing. When um, in December, before I could, you know, take a test and say, okay, we're expecting, he said to me, I'm not feeling well. Every time I see food, I want to throw up. He, ha he was like sleeping on a job. So when I took the test, I was like, okay, you know. So what the old people say, the man gets it and I don't. So I had nine months free, mm. no kind of symptoms. <laughs> um, coming down to the end with our firstborn, um, she was breached. Okay. So we, um, that was, and I don't see that as a complication. Having a, a C-section, um, that was to us as God's way of her coming into the world. And she came healthy and I think after the first six months, then he got over his morning sickness. <laughs> yeah, it was about that time. <coughs> but it was really bad. Really? So they would be on the job and, uh, I mean, you into what you're doing, but just for, no, for, for, for whatever reason, you know. <laughs> <laughs> so the second time around, the second time around while we were trying, he said, and when I went and I said, well, um, we're gonna have a second, it's gonna be a father again. He said, I know because he's got those symptoms <laughs> back again. <laughs> so. But you know, this is amazing to find out mm -hmm. because you know, you hear about it mm -hmm. and then you go like, oh, that's just a myth. Yeah. It's mm -hmm. not true, but now I'm hearing from you that yes. he actually yes, experienced, experienced yes. that. So that, that's nice. So um, tell us a bit about the, your first daughter. Um, you already told us the name and what it means. How was she as a baby? Um, as a baby, she was not a busy body i think she grew into that <laughs> she um she we we had a, a a lot of time on our hands when you have one you have more time to spend that one-on-one -on -one time and she so she got a lot of attention and of course when she didn't get the attention she craved and she demanded the attention but to say i had a busy toddler the first time around no so um basically she was easy going she was easy going. How was she, her interaction with others? For example, your family, your, your sisters, your mom. Did she go to them easily? Yes, she did. Our, our first mom is a social person, like mom. <laughs> <laughs> Dad is also a social person, but he is a little less quiet than you know than I am. Mm -hmm. So our second one, we always can see the difference in the second one, Ayana, she is like him. She's more reserved and okay. she will monitor and see before she approaches someone. Right. She will study you first, but Adai will help, you know, approach us, hi, how are you? And so they really took each one of us, you know, our, yes, our personality. So um, you said the first child was planned. Did you also plan your second child? We were planning for the second one. However, she just came earlier than planned. <laughs> Because within that year, we said, okay, we're, you know, we want to, because we knew that after a year and a half, we will try again. So we knew we were trying. We were in the planning stage. Yes. We it just happened. <laughs> About a couple months early. But you know what my experience has been with my first, mm -hmm. my first child? Um, everyone was telling me, your, your clock is ticking, right? Mm -hmm. Especially my grandmother. So I was really trying. But what I realized as soon as I put it out of my mind, yes. it happened. Yes. I mean, for me, it was sad though mm -hmm. because my grandmother had passed. I think mm -hmm. she passed like a day before I found out I was pregnant mm -hmm. because someone said to me, you know, those old wives' tales when one that goes, when one goes, another one comes, comes and yes. probably she knew. So mm -hmm. I checked 
And you know how I was devastated because mm -hmm. I'm like, my God, she passed and I didn't get that chance yeah. to tell her. Mm -hmm. So um, I know about the planning mm -hmm. and, you know, the coming before and the, the, all of that. I know about it as well. You know, being an educator because we go, you know, we um, school ends in June. Right. So I knew I had the month of July at home relaxing and that's what I wanted. Right. My first pregnancy I want, I didn't know how the last month would be. Right. So I said, well, let me have that last month at home relaxing not you know because i know i'm not as i don't sit in school i'm active i'm busy right. so i said and it worked out very good i mean with the second pregnancy i was still in school and that worked fine also right you know so both were good okay sion tell us so what was it like when you saw your first daughter for the first time well, <laughs> uh, there aren't any words to express uh, how i felt uh, I was I was overflowing with emotions. Mm -hmm. uh, I felt I felt stuff that I never felt before inside, you know. And uh, of course, you know the whole um, goosebumps and thing. It's like hey, and tears. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that that comes with it too. Mm -hmm. um, that's that that that's just uh, that's just a natural reaction, uh, you know, mm -hmm. um, accompanying the, the emotions inside. But for me, it's like, like I said, there's no words to express it, but uh, I, was, I was filled with emotions. I, was, I had a hard time breathing, you know, because it's like, hey, from the time the Dr. Petty, uh, um, Dr. Chung it was, right? No, Petty, the first one, Petty, Chung the second. Yeah, from the time he took her out of the belly, and I heard that cry for the first time, it was like, hey, <laughs> it was just amazing. I, I think he forgot about me at that I did. I did. <laughs> my eyes never my my eyes never came off of uh, Adaya until they finished clearing her mouth, you know, um, mm -hmm. wiping her face and, and getting her ready to bring her over to the mother. Then you're like, okay, hey. <laughs> <laughs> then you remember, hey, there was someone who brought it. I was God. It's like I said, you know, I can't express it uh, how I felt then. I, it was like uh, for an instant I was in another world, you know. I was like really truly in another world, and I, my eyes was just fixed on her as they took her over to the to the uh, to the, the little crib that they had in the in the um, delivery room. I just follow. <laughs> you know, it's like you're hypnotized, right. you know. And I just follow them, and I was there with the nurse and just looking, looking, paying attention, make sure they're doing everything right. Mm -hmm. It's a great experience. Okay, Rita, earlier you said that um, you had so much time on your hands with the first baby or your first daughter. Mm -hmm. So that brings me to this question. How is it having two? Because I have experienced that same thing. I said, you know what? I'm going to break the norm that your second child doesn't get the eat, you know, as, as much time as the first one. And Every day I feel guilty yes. because I am, it's really impossible, you know, to be able to give, when you have two, to give them, or to give the second the same amount of time as you gave the first. So, how have you been experiencing that? Well, we honestly, because our first is still so demanding of her time, <laughs> we had to make um, a conscious effort to find a long time with her because we were of the same opinion, we don't want to cheat her of her right. time. And so we would take time, so there were times when Sion would spend alone time with her so she can feel daddy and me, and there were times when I would spend alone time with her. But my alone times came around breastfeeding, so because of breastfeeding, I had that already, that bond with her, of being alone. Mm -hmm. And then Sion would make a conscious effort of spending alone time with her. Of course, a dad would always try and interfere now and again, but then I would take her and do something with her. Mm -hmm. So even I know she never received the 